Hello and welcome to the Fire Plus um, Learning Walkthrough video. In this video, we're going to be going through the logging into our learning portal. So first we need to go to our learning portal's web address. So it's learn.fireplus.co.uk. Then we need to enter in your credentials, which have been um, given to you during your registration. So you use your email address and your password. So these credentials will be provided you for your booking confirmation and through the activation email. If you don't receive your credentials, please get in touch with your manager or directly with the Fire Plus training team. So I'll just start off by logging in with our demo account. So first of all, your email address is your login, and then you should also be given your password. And now that we're in, we'll then move on to the next video, which covers the dashboard. Okay, so once we've logged in, we're then presented with the dashboard, as we can see here. So we've got a few options. We've got your profile, which allows you to change some of your details. You've got your account preferences, that lets you change things like your password. You've got your performance and your grade, which allows you to view the grades of any courses that you've taken. And then on the left-hand side, you've got your toolbar, which will also incl include your list of available courses. And then taken the main portion of the screen, shows you what courses are available for you to access. Okay, so now we move on to accessing our course overview. So we can access it either by clicking on the available course on the left-hand toolbar or onto the course in the middle of our dashboard. And then the first screen we have here is our different tabs, so the different um, courses available, which also match up to the toolbar on your left-hand side. And we'll start with the general tab. So here we have our terms and conditions, an application form and learning application agreement. Both of these need to be completed before you can progress with your, your course. And then you also have the PDF versions of the available course manuals. And it's pretty straightforward with the training terms and conditions. We just click, we then click on answer the questions. In this case, we can view our tr terms and conditions. We can then select yes, and then complete the uh, robot form here. And then we submit our answers. That's completed our terms and conditions. And then we can get back to general on the toolbar on the left-hand side. And then for the application learning form, again, we click answer the questions. And this is where you'd fill in your personal details. So things like your, your personal information, any disabilities you may have, any qualifications or existing levels of qualifications you may have. So once you fill out again, you just click on submit your answers and then we go back to our general tab. Now you may find that some uh, parts of your um, courses are grayed out. That means they're not accessible yet, which means you may have to complete um, some previous activities, but we can move on by going on to our unit one principles of communications. And then we just click on the open unit one button and we can start working our way through the lesson. Okay, so now we can continue on with our lessons. So we've got our unit one principles of cabling. We can click open unit one. And if we scroll down, you see a list of um, accessible activities. Some of these activities will be videos. Some of these will be text-based like a theory assessment or quizzes. You've got an initial uh, unit one intro, which is definitely worth watching but we can jump straight into our first module here. So I click that icon. You see we've got the title of the module, we've got the video, so as we click the play button to watch the video. Now you need to make sure that you watch the video all the way to the end as the system will log whether you've watched it or not. But once you've watched the video, we can then click onto the end of lesson and that allow you to progress onto the next part of the course. Okay, so once you've completed your lesson, we can then proceed on to our assessment. So we've completed our module one. We can then go on to our module one theory assessment. So we just click the icon. And we see we've got here, they're just the initial screens. So you can see it tells you the pass grade, which is 11 out of 13. We can go back to the previous module if we need to look at the videos again. And we go to attempt quiz now, and it will load up the, basically it's a, uh, it's like a mock exam. So you have your 
13 questions, move through answering them. So basically going through the multiple choice, selecting what you feel as if the best answer. You can always go back to a question if you feel you need more time on it. So you've got the flag option as well to highlight it. And once you've completed, it will tell you whether you have passed or failed. Now, in some cases, um, some of the questions, if you've got them incorrect, they will provide you with additional feedback to help you find the correct answer relating to our training material. Now, the majority of the tests allow you to take them multiple times. So don't worry if you fail first time, you can take them again. And uh, you are required, though, to uh, meet a certain pass rate in order to proceed on to the next activity. Okay, so once you've completed either units two and three or unit four, if you scroll down to the bottom of your available modules, you'll find that there is a feedback form. So if you click on here, you'll then open up with some questions. So move on to answer the questions. And it allows you to put in your feedback relating to the course that you've taken. So any feedback is appreciated, appreciated as it helps us to improve our courses in the future. As you progress through the training, you also have the option of viewing um, all of your grades and progress. So you can initially see a snippet of your progress over here on the right hand um, corner, right hand part of the screen. But if you also click on the grades option over on your toolbar on the left hand part of the screen, it also shows you a more detailed breakdown. For example, we can see here we've got the course title and then you've got your different modules listed underneath. So for example, here we've completed the unit one module one theory assessment. It gives us the grade, so basically it's 13 out of 13. The range, so 0 to 13. Your percentage, and then the contribution to the course total. Now, if you do have any issues regarding any of the parts of the training, be it the videos, the theory assessments, the mock exams, then make sure that you contact us, and you can contact us via the live chat on our webpage or a direct email at training at fiberplus.co.uk or you can phone us on 01225 636 041. Remember, we're always here to help, so feel free to contact us whenever you need to.